And that's you, Senator Wesker. Mr. President. Uh, Senator Westrom, do you have the A57 amendment? Mr. President, uh, I move to, modif move to amend the A3 amendment as adopted by the Senate with the language in the A57 amendment. Senator Westrom moves the A57 amendment. <clears throat> the Secretary will report the A57 amendment. Senator Westrom moves to amend the A3 amendment to House File Number 4366 adopted by the Senate. Uh, April 27th as follows. Page 1, delete lines, lines 5 to 17. This is the A57 amendment. To the A57 amendment, Senator Westrom. Uh, Mr. President, members, I urge your support of the A57 amendment, which leaves some language in place of the A3, but it removes the part that uh, forbids new farmers to be able to start up in the state of Minnesota uh, as the language in the A3 amendment would have stopped any new family farms from being able to start up in deer farming. So I'd urge your support. But Mr. President, I'll, what it does leave is the testing. Uh, when a test is available, that we start adopting that testing for CWD as soon as a test is available. I know the scientists and the universities are working feverishly. We have funded that with millions of dollars. Other states have too. University of Minnesota has reported some, some uh, great success or progress, but they are not there. But as soon as they are, we want that best testing to be used uh, just like we would in, in all of livestock. So I urge your support of this amendment. Senator Bingham. Thank you, Mr. President. First, I request a roll call. Roll call is requested. Roll call granted. Senator Bingham. Thank you. Um, Mr. President, it actually does a little bit more than that. It also deletes the language um, about the, uh, on line 25, about other species of cervidae. Um, members, <laughs> I, I don't know how much more clear I can be. Um, we have sat here and done nothing on this very important issue for our economy. Again, a billion dollar industry for hunting. 500,000 deer hunters. The Deer Hunters Association supports the amendment, the A3 amendment that was voted on and supported by 36 members. Um, nearly identical, if not identical, I haven't had the opportunity to completely do it, but I've been told uh, that it's uh, identical, um, is in the House bill. Why you wouldn't want to take this and agree upon this with the House. One thing, God forbid we agree on one thing between the House and the Senate to protect our hunting culture here. Uh, the amendment clear as day, the A3 amendment clear as day, does not include family uh, farms registering if it's an, and transferring if it's a new farm. Uh, what the A57 amendment does is guts that. Um, so uh, I would urge a no vote, a red vote on this, and um, would hope that we can do this on behalf of our hunters, uh, our culture here in Minnesota, and our billion dollar economic boom that is the deer hunting industry. Thank you. Senator Klein. Thank you, Mr. President. Will Senator Bigham yield? She will yield. Senator Klein. Senator Bigham, when you offered the A3 amendment, was your intention in any way to interfere with the deer farming industry as it currently exists within the state of Minnesota? Senator Bigham. Mr. President, Senator Klein, no, my intention is to stop new farms from coming in that would um, contribute to the spread of CWD so we can get this under control. Senator Klein. Will Senator Bigham continue to yield? She will, Senator Klein. And as passed, the A3 amendment preserves the livelihood of existing deer farm industry and uh, proprietors within the state of Minnesota without interfering with their business in any way. Senator Bingham. Mr. President, Senator Klein, yes. Senator Klein. So your sole objective was to prevent 
the further expansion of that industry or the importation into our state of potentially diseased cervidae. Senator Bingham. Yes, Mr. President. Yes, Senator Klein, and protect our deer hunters of over 500,000 of them and over a billion dollar economy that is the um, hunting season here in Minnesota. Senator Klein. Senator Bingham, continue to yield. She will, Senator Klein. Senator Bingham, with the adoption of the A57, are any of the objectives that you aimed for in your A3 amendment preserved? Senator Bingham. Mr. President, Senator Klein, no. Senator Klein. Thank you, Mr. President. For the discussion to the A57 amendment, roll call being requested. The Secretary will call, take the roll on the A57 amendment. Call Senator Jasinski to report members voting under Rule 40.7. Senator Jasinski. Thank you, Mr. President. Senator Abler votes yes. Abler votes aye. Senator Jasinski. Senator Anderson votes yes. Anderson votes aye. Senator Jasinski. Senator Benson votes yes. Benson votes aye. Senator Jasinski. Senator Coleman votes yes. Coleman votes aye. Senator Jasinski. Senator Gazelka votes yes. Gazelka votes aye. Senator Jasinski. Senator Ingebrigtsen votes yes. Ingebrigtsen votes aye. Senator Jasinski. Senator Goggin votes yes. Goggin votes aye. Senator Jasinski. Thank you, Mr. President. Senator Thomas Sony votes yes. Thomas Sony votes aye. Calling Senator Friends to report members voting under Rule 40.7. Senator Friends. Thank you, Mr. President. Senator Fate votes no. Fate votes nay. Senator Friends. Senator Hoffman votes no. Hoffman votes nay. Senator Friends. Senator Johnson Stewart votes no. Johnson Stewart votes nay. Senator Friends. Senator Newton votes no. Newton votes nay. Senator Friends. And Senator Port votes no. Port votes nay. All members having voted with the desire to vote, the Secretary will close the roll. There being 34 ayes and 32 nays, the A57 amendment is adopted.
Further discussion to House File 4366 as amended. The Secretary will give the bill its third reading. House File number 4366, a bill for an act relating to state government. Third reading. Senator Bingham. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, members, I would urge a red vote on this, and I would like to remind my friends in the Republican side of the aisle that <coughs> we do have a doctor and nurses available here in the Senate to tend to any twisted arms, broken kneecaps, or nausea you may have had and sustained during your hour-long caucus to flip votes on that last amendment. Vote green. Red. 